Hello, it's Darren. So here's a challenge. You want to facilitate a new topic, a new workshop. And there are usually two pieces that go hand in hand with a workshop or a session. There's the, the content or the process or the technical piece, right? And then there's the people piece, the relationship piece. So in facilitation, we know the tools, the techniques, the methods to help with the people piece, but sometimes we need the process. What's the process we should use? What's the technical piece? What's the content? And let's say it's strategic planning. You're at the beginning of the year. You need to work on a strategic plan. So here's, I think, an easier way to do this is there are incredible tools out there, Miro, M-I-R-O, and Mural. So they sound similar. These are my favorite whiteboarding tools. There's also a lot of other ones out there too. Fig Jam, Google Jamboard, Zoom, Teams has a whiteboard, but Miro and Mural are at another level right now because they have these templates, right? A template that you can use that will almost have the activities to do related to that content. And you can see in Miro, they have all kinds of different uh, topics. So like if you're gonna hold a brainstorming session, you know, you might click on this and see ideas for whiteboards that you could use for your brainstorming session. But let's say we're working on strategic planning. So if I click the strategy and planning button, here are a lot of different templates that I can take a look at and consider using. Take a look at them, figure them out. So a classic one is what I saw earlier, that SWOT analysis. But I'm looking at some other ones. This gives me a source of ideas of what I might be able to do for my strategic planning session. And there's a lot of choices here, right? And I can also search for something right here in the search box too. So, wow, this is unbelievable, right? This is incredible, you know, how many choices that we have for uh, sessions to run based on these whiteboards. So I might, oh, Business Innovation Discovery Canvas, interesting, right? So I'm just taking a look at these. And then I can also just search for a topic up here. This is worth trying. We'll just do a strategy and see what pops up. All right, okay. You can even get really specific. We'll start strategic planning, do I think? Most of what you might be looking for is under the strategy piece. But let's say I like this one and I click use template. So with Miro, I think they have a free plan for just a certain amount of whiteboards that you can use. That's how they look at these things. So if you're just going to do like one big strategic planning session, you know, that might be all you need is the free plan to be able to do that. So, okay, so here's a, a, you know, a model that you can use. I've opened it up. What you would do is give people the link. Let's say you're going to run a workshop on this. What I like to do is, uh, you know, copy the board link, make sure that anyone with the link can edit, right? So that way they can add their post-it notes. They can add their thoughts. They can add their ideas onto it. I can email it to them or I can just copy the board link and then I'll just paste it in an email or on uh, the link on Zoom or Teams if I'm facilitating it live, right? But here I've got this this open and I can zoom in and zoom out on the whiteboard like I would a photo and, you know, I can add things to it. You know, here's my big goal. We want to have a, a culture of innovation, we'll say, right? And then, okay, so I can work through this you know, all the way down to that level of what do we do? What are the features and the user stories, right? Our stakeholder stories of how we might be helping them through this culture of innovation. So that's just an example. Also, Mural, this other tool, I love this one just as much, right? And uh, they have templates too. So if you search for Mural templates, you'll find this page. And they have 300 plus templates, right? So you can do the same thing. You can see if there's any topics here, like let's look for a plan. Here's a strategy explorer canvas. Oh, that sounds interesting, right? So it's the same thing where I could click on this and I believe it would open it up and I could use the free template if I wanted to, right? But here I can, uh, you know, take a look at this and see, does this uh, make sense for me? You know, let's click on it and take a look at what this is. This one's nice because it's almost a workshop that you can use for two to six people. Here's the time, four to 10 hours. Here's how to organize the workshop, All right? Here are the resources to use. And then let's do it right on the whiteboard where people can click and add their own post-it notes onto here based on these different categories, it looks like. You can figure out the vision and the mission. Wow. And it shows you uh, an outline of what you might do too. So this is a, a really nice one, I think, because it's almost organized the whole workshop for you for what you might do with a small group of people, maybe to figure out that strategy. So this is on Mural. So these are a couple of ways that you might get started with any topic, right? It could be, it could be anything, you know,
after you found uh, the template that you might like to use for your workshop or your session, your strategic planning session, what you might need to do next is figure out how are you going to facilitate that? How are you going to lead that workshop based on what you have? How many people? Based on who the people are? How much time you have, right? Do you have just two hours to do something quick or do you have a full week, right? How much time do you have? But this is where you'll then get into the train the trainer program we have and maybe figure out how am I going to facilitate that? So some workshops that I think could help you to design that session for how you'll facilitate the group would be facilitation tools and techniques. You know, there are different uh, activities or tools that you can use along the way to keep the group engaged, to make sure everybody contributes, to hear from everybody, to see from everybody, to give them time to think and reflect, to give them time to share out, right? So this will be a good one to use for that. Uh, there's also some other ones in here, like the innovative facilitator that I think might help with that too. And my guess is that you might be doing this virtually or remotely, especially if you're going to use one of these whiteboard tools like Miro or Miro. So then remote workshop facilitation training, I think would be another good one to help you figure out how to do this and design this and do it well virtually, where you can bring together people in the same space virtually to all get on this whiteboard together to add their post-it notes and ideas together. So these are some basic tips for what you might do. And then let's say you get to that level of you need ideas, right? To create a strategy, we need ideas. So some of our other uh, workshops might help with this, such as Innovation 101, Design Thinking. Uh, that would be a good one to systematically go through how do I generate ideas for what the strategy is. Or ideas for now that we have the strategy or the vision or the mission or anything like that, what do we do? How to enact it? Those workshops would help you to you know, get ideas from your participants for that. And a lot of other ones, systematic innovation that might help uh, with that too. So you can look around and see what might be a good uh, helper um, for this kind of uh, outcome that you want to have. Remember that there's two pieces to the facilitation here, right? There's the content, which you can get from one of these whiteboard tools and the templates. And then there's the people area. And then how do you engage the people? That's the most important thing, I think, to think about. Because when you can learn that, when you can do that, you can use all kinds of different templates to be able to uh, facilitate workshops with. And as we see, there's, there's hundreds over on Mural and Mural, right? There we go. All right. Hope this was helpful.